How is it going guys and welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that want to shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. And in today's tutorial, Dave's going to be showing you the insert mode within Adobe Edition. Hey everybody, how's it going? Dave here. Today I want to show you the new feature in Adobe Edition called insert mode in the waveform editor. Now this works hand in hand with uh, another feature that they released a few years ago called punch and roll mode. So I'll go through both of them and explain them and show you guys how they're interlinked. They're both very useful and I think the insert mode is going to be a game changer, especially for some of you that do narration and spoken word and stuff like that. So let's jump straight into it. Now I'm in Adobe Audition. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into, actually, I'm going to go into multi-track mode and create a track. Uh, I kind of don't want these. So I'm just going to keep one track, make sure it's recording the right thing. And make sure that's it. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to record something on my guitar really quick and show you guys how the punch and roll mode works. <laughs> So that's what I've got now in punch and roll mode, which you'll find down here. So you need to go down where the record button is, right click, and I'm in punch and roll mode. Now what punch and roll mode means is, say I wanna record everything to the right again. Say I messed up right here and I wanna give it another take, another go, I think I can do it better. Now what punch and roll mode does is, it's gonna record from this point onwards and overwrite what you've already recorded, but it's gonna give you a lead up. So if you do narration or some kind of spoken word, you can find where your cadence is and you're going to be talking over what's already been recorded, but it's only going to record from this point onwards. Now, I'm going to do this with guitar. It's going to give me a lead up time from around here and then hopefully I can, I can play it better. <laughs> so let's give it a go. So in this case, it gave me some lead up time so I can kind of play along with it. And then it only started recording from this point onwards. So this is what it sounds like without doing any crossfading. So that's pretty good, but I think we can make it a bit better. Sweet, that sounds great with a bit of crossfading action. So guys, I've been editing for 15 years and I'll be the first to say that I do use templates like the ones here to save some time. Millions of video creators like you and me do this, but unfortunately it can get really expensive, especially when you're talking about $50 for a one-off license. Now guys, from video editor to video editor, what if I told you I could get you access to unlimited downloads and usage of a massive library of quality digital products that can be used in personal and commercial projects and it would only cost you $9. I'm talking about title packs, transition packs, effects packs, motion graphics packs, stock footage, social media packs, lower thirds packs, basically any digital product you could ever dream of having. Sounds great, right? Well, with this special offer to the Envato Elements Library, you can get complete access for only $9. Click on the link in the description to take advantage of this deal. Now let's get back to the video. So that's how punch and roll mode works. And now we're gonna go in and explore this new feature. Let me just delete all this stuff. Now this new feature, I can't see it working for music as much as it would do for narration. So that's why it's only available in waveform mode, I think. I just need to record something really quick. I was born in West Philadelphia and also raised there. I spent most of my days playing basketball on the playground and also chilling out and relaxing. Then a couple of guys who were up to no good making trouble in my living area. So not the best performance, but I forgot to 
say started. So I messed up at the end as well. But this is where I want to start inserting the new audio. You want to make sure that you're in insert mode and punch and roll. Now, what punch and roll is going to do is going to give you that lead up time. So you kind of find your cadence, your phrasing. And insert mode is actually going to insert the audio here. It's not going to override it, but it's just going to push it further along to the right. So let's demonstrate that really quick. So make sure your cursor is right there on the playground and also chilling out and relaxing then a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my living area started making trouble in my and also chilling out and making trouble in my living area no good started making so we need a tiny bit of a fade so i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just create a bit of a fade there Guys who are up to no good started making trouble in my living area. Now, it's not the best performance, but hopefully you get the point. I think this feature is going to save people a lot of time. You'd have to re-record the whole thing. You just record the part that you forgot, and then it inserts it, moves everything else to the right. Great little feature. Thanks, Adobe. I had to explain the punch and roll mode just so you can kind of see how those two work. You could just be in instant record mode but i find that the punch and roll mode kind of gives you that ability to follow along and kind of find your cadence and your phrasing if you're doing it and then record that's the new feature if you got any questions drop them in the comments until next time peace